from in-depth docu-series. A killer on the loose in New York. To hours long podcasts. Gabby Petito. This morning, investigators say America's true crime addiction has helped bring a young girl home. Back in 2017, police in South Elgin, Illinois, say then nine-year-old Kayla Unbihan was abducted by her mother, Heather, after a judge granted Kayla's father full custody of the child. The dad, Ryan Iskirka, speaking to our affiliate at the time. When she canceled all that social media, that, that's another sign that she wasn't ever intending to come back. Despite years of dead ends, Iskirka refused to let the case grow cold, pushing his story onto the national stage, including in early 2020, appearing on Vanished, The Missing Persons Project, a series streaming on Peacock, which is owned by our parent company, NBC Universal. Here I am at home, wringing my hands, wondering where my daughter's at. And again last fall on Netflix's Unsolved Mysteries. Finally, this weekend, a crucial break in the case. When investigators say someone in North Carolina who saw that Netflix show recognized Kayla at a clothing store and alerted police. Because of the tip, police say Kayla, now 15, is back home with her dad, while her mother was arrested and charged with kidnapping. She was released from custody after posting a $25,000 bond. Ryan Iskirka writing in a statement, I'm overjoyed that Kayla is home safe, adding we ask for privacy as we get to know each other again and navigate this new beginning. Six years uh, is way too long. Uh, let's face it, six minutes, six seconds is way too long to be away from your own child. And this is not the only case where true crime shows have made a difference. From HBO's The Jinx, which led to the murder conviction of the late real estate heir Robert Durst. Kill them all. Course. to the iconic serial podcast, which helped free Adnan Syed from prison more than 20 years after he was convicted of murdering his girlfriend. Experts say the genre can be an invaluable tool to cracking cases. Kayla's just the latest proof of that. Do you work to get these kids' cases into these kind of true crime series to get that spotlight on them? We do, as we saw today, that it just takes one set of eyes to be a hero. And we should note advocates with the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, who you just heard from in that piece, say they only put these cases on these platforms and on these shows when authorities say they are indeed comfortable with it. They kind of follow their lead, noting that true crime fans and online sleuths can sometimes produce complications, like potentially naming the wrong suspect online. But again, they add in a lot of cases, this genre can produce crucial tips and crack a case wide open. Guys. All right, Maggie Vespa there in uh, Illinois. Maggie, thank mm -hmm. you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.